find the first term and the common difference. So in other words, we've got to find A and D. Now let's write down the formula for the nth term. The formula for the nth term is un equals a plus n minus 1 d. And let's use that with the information in the first sentence. The sixth term, in other words, n is 6. So I can write that, and n minus 1 is going to be 6 minus 1, which is 5 d. And we know that the sixth term is 7. So there we have an equation with a and d. If I can find another equation with a and d, I'll be able to use simultaneous equations to solve. So now let's look at the second sentence and see how we can use that with the sum of n terms. Let's write that down. 2a plus n minus 1d. Now, we know that the sum of the first 23 terms, in other words, n is 23, so the sum of the first 23 terms equals n is 23, so that's 23 over 2, 2a plus n is 23, so n minus 1 is 22. And we know that this sum of the first 23 terms is 437. So we know that this equals 437. Let's simplify this, remove the brackets. If I multiply 23 over 2 by 2a, the 2 will cancel, so I'll get 23 multiplied by a, so I'll get 23a. If I multiply 23 over 2 by the 22d, the 2 will cancel, giving me 11d, so I need 23 times 11d. So let's look at that, 23 times 11, that's 253d. So this is the sum of the first 23 terms, which we know is 437. So we have got two equations, with a and d we can solve the simultaneous equations. I'm going to make A the subject of this equation here by subtracting the 5D from both sides. I'm then going to substitute this information into here. So instead of 23A, I'm going to get 23 multiplied by the expression that I know is A. Added to 253D equals 437. Let's remove these brackets. 23 times 7, 3 7 is 21, carry the 2, 2 7 is 14, that is going to be 16. Let's multiply 23 by 5, 3 5 is 15, carry the 1, 2 5 is 10, 11. So let's simplify this. I need to subtract the 115 D away from the 253 D and that will give me 138 D. I need to subtract that 116 away from that side, 161 I should say, 161, so that will give me 6, 6 from that, 7, 2. And I think you'll find that 2 multiplied by 138 is in fact 276, therefore D equals 2. And that's found the common difference. D is the common difference, so I've found that. Now I need to find the first term, which is A. So if I substitute that value back into here, A equals 7 minus 5 Ds, which we know is 5 twos. So 7 minus 10 is minus 3. So I've used the two formulas to work out the two pieces of information I've been asked to work out. Right, let's try this problem. The sum of the first seven terms of an arithmetic progression is 59.5 and the sum of the first 11 terms of the same arithmetic progression is 104.5. Calculate the 20th term. Now we're going to use the formula for the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. 
and we're going to write this down every time that we use it to make sure that we learn it. OK, so let's use this formula with the information in this first sentence. The first seven terms, in other words, n is 7. So the sum of the first seven terms, n is 7. So we put 7 in there, so that's 7 over 2, multiplied by 2a plus n is 7. 7 take away 1, that's 6d. And that equals 59.5. Now let's use the information in the second sentence, which is the sum of the first 11 terms. So n is now 11. So the first 11 terms. n is 11. 2a plus 11 minus 1, that's 10. And the sum of the first 11 terms is 104.5. So let's tidy up this equation. We remove the brackets, so if we multiply 7 over 2 by 2a, the 2 will cancel and we'll have 7 times a. And then 7 over 2 multiplied by the 6d, the 2 will cancel giving me 3d and 7 3 is 21. And that equals 59.5. Now let's remove the brackets here. 11 over 2 multiplied by 2a, so the 2 is going to cancel, and we'll get 11 times a is 11a. 11 over 2 times 10d, the 2 is going to cancel, giving me 5d. 11 times 5d is 55d, and that equals 104.5. So we have simultaneous equations here to solve. It must be possible to solve them, but not the nicest to solve. You've either got my A or D, the subject of the first equation, substitute into the second equation, or my A or D, the subject of the second equation, and substitute in the first equation, or you've got to make both these 77A by multiplying that throughout by 11 and multiplying that throughout by 7, or you've got to make these both the same number, which sounds a bit nasty. Or possibly spot something else. If we go back to this information here, let's see if we can do it another way. Let's look at what we have here. Let's multiply this by 2 and divide it by 7. And if we multiply it by 2 and divide it by 7, what will happen is this will cancel and I'll be left with just this. So if I multiply that by 2 and divide it by 7, I must do the same to this. So let's take that 59.5 and multiply it by 2 and divide it by 7. I get 17. Now let's look at this piece of information. And multiply it by 2 and divide it by 11. And if I do that, I'll end up with... But I'll need to multiply this by 2 and divide it by 11. So let's do that. And I hope you can appreciate, if you happen to spot that piece of manipulation, rather than jumping in and removing those brackets, life's going to be a lot easier. If I now subtract these two equations, I'll do the bottom line, subtract the top line. 19 take away 17. 10d take away 6d, and then 2a take away 2a cancels. Divide both sides by 4. I've got the value of d, in other words, the common difference is a half of the series. Now let's substitute that value into either of these equations. Let's go for the top one. So 2a plus 6d means 6 halves is 3. 2a plus 3 is 17. Therefore, 2a must be 17 take away 3, which is 14. a itself is 7. So, with this arithmetic progression, we know the first term is 7. And we now know the common differences are a half. And we're asked to work out the calculate the 20th term. So, if we use this 
formula, which works out the nth term, 